Hello, peace. You are doing PTC, bro. Yeah, no. Shut up. <laughs> and you do it. Hello. Beep, you have to. Hi, ah, yes. My name is Ulrich, and I can't focus on anything. That's why I have 100 projects. Now elaborate. Why? <laughs> My name is Noel. I can't focus on anything, that's why I have 27 projects. <laughs> well, my was bigger front because I said we have more projects. <laughs> is this like a flex now? Who has more projects? No, no, no. Who is less? That's a flex. Let's I think it's on. him. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, learning. That's quite the topic. Honestly, learning stuff in my free time, most of it has been for big track hard, like a film course and a photography course, multiple to be honest. Well, I think it's quite easy. You just watch it and you try it for yourself. Like photography, you go out, make some pictures. The movie stuff is a bit more intuitive. New stuff, we can mostly learn what we want. Well, of course it has to have some connection to the whole big track hut business. I can't really talk about difficulties or problems I've experienced because I've had none so far, so that's good, I suppose. There's also the practical aspect. That's a thing that just comes time to time. If you try something, you get better at it, you know, learning and doing all that stuff. I'd say that's it. Good morning. All right, today's setup, a orange box with some wonderful green stuff on it, a little bit of sun, and as you can see, no hair. I hope somebody is coming out of these apartments so I look completely retarded talking to my phone in public. Ugh. Okay, this is everything we get today. A little bit of sun in my right eye. So, learning. Learning is a process and not a thing you do, so it's mostly... It depends on what you really want to do and how you can get there. I think learning is a um an automatic process that you are going through while striving for your goals or something like that many people say it's like a lifelong process and that that uh, like humans yearn to learn <laughs> that's a kind of a stupid thing to say but i do think it's true and i do think it's important i personally learn best with just doing stuff getting a little bit of theory and then setting it into practice so like the combination of them both as you see I'm, I'm hella uncomfortable and i have to learn to be weird alone in public to my phone you've all probably heard something of learning types before and that's like auditive or visual or touching and the problem is all of those are true to some extent for some people and yes some people are more auditive and yes some people are more visual but um, learning in general is not something you can specify to two, three things that you are trying to commit to because if you can really just learn through like listening to something, you're not going to have a great time in the world. It's learning in general is, is making connections in your brain. You can imagine it like a spider web. It's like in your head. And each time you learn something, you make a new dot. And some people like are afraid, or at least I'm... It's like an irrational thought, but I was afraid myself that ugh, this is unbearable. I guess you just can't see my eyes. I was afraid that uh, the more I, I learn as a kid, the harder it would get to learn something. And that's why I thought like old people learned learn, like worse. But the fact is neuroplasticity, how easily your brain can change. And because in, in younger years, your brain has to change much more. Um, it also learns faster. So if you're putting yourself in a situation where you really have to learn, you can't do anything else but learn. Let's say some stressful situation, like maybe intercultural learning or, or anything regarding like public speaking, anything where you're like really uncomfortable. <laughs> so it's anything that makes you uncomfortable and you have to get out of it, you have to learn, you, you uh, have to use your neuroplasticity, whatever. And that gives you a whole lot of ingrained sense of being also important to say is knowledge is not it's not wisdom wisdom is is the experience plus the knowledge when you're learning you're gaining knowledge basically and putting it all into your head but what you're really trying to do is gaining wisdom or experience or whatever some part of this equation always is there 
and that isn't always like easy because you, you don't always know how to do it you don't always know how to gain experience but in this new day and age of people doing things that are like they're not supposed to or they're they're just kind of trying because they can because internet because everything around the world revolves around this weird thing that's like super cool also i'm next to like a, a street so my apologies but can't do anything about it being able to do something about something for example me i could change place but i don't see the worth in that because i, I will not find a better place for this in the next two hours or something just because city just because everything is kind of fucked up car people it's making me hella uncomfortable and i kind of enjoy that but yeah So when we think about learning, when we think about research and all that, we always look at courses, we look at internet research, we look at books, but we have to remember that learning also means looking at other people, looking at other companies, what they do, how they handle stuff. Yesterday, I used my time in the hospital and made a little walk looking at the, the layout of the whole hospital and also the decoration they use which was really interesting because they have all different achievements appearances in newspapers awards and all that hang onto the wall and i don't think it's really important for the patients to know that because there are patients here already they're not gonna go anywhere else and they also have different problems they don't look at the awards a hospital got so it's pretty much more important to either the, the relatives of the patient or what i think it's important for the employees so the doctors nurses etc because every news article out there is about the employees so, for example, achievement of a doctor, achievement of a nurse, achievement of a group of doctors and nurses of the hospital. So I think it's for motivation and for also showing respect to the work they do.